Greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog. Kicking things off with putting my shoes on because I'm going out to run some errands. It is Monday. It's actually Monday afternoon. I have done a lot of work this morning and into the afternoon and now I need to go out and do some things because it is Colby, my very best friend in the city, her birthday this week and I'm so excited to celebrate her. I have a few things I wanna go get for her, for her party tomorrow night. Uh, most importantly, I wanna get her a card that we can all sign and make very special for her because Colby, there's one thing to know about her is that she loves a handwritten note, as most people do, but like I've never met anyone who likes them as much as Colby. <laughs> So I know how important that is. I'm gonna go out, find a paper store or somewhere that has really cute cards, which I'm sure, you know, in all of Manhattan, there's gonna be somewhere cool. I have a couple of ideas in mind. So that is first on the agenda for my afternoon of errands. And I also have to go to the store, buy some tampons. Um, I don't know, I have a list on my phone. All of my various tasks are escaping me, but I know I need to get a card and tampons. So that is what we are doing. First thing in the vlog. I think this week's gonna be pretty normal in terms of work, in terms of life. I am still recovering like apartment cleanliness wise and like just my overall energy from the Hamptons because as you guys know, I was there for a couple weeks. It's jam packed every year. And then you get back to the city and you're like, whoa, okay, I have to like reset, get back to normal. So that is what we were doing but I am pretty happy with how my weekend went, feeling like I had a good balance between fun and rest, and we're tackling the week. It's pretty overcast today, which has definitely affected my energy level, so I do need another coffee, I think. In order to tackle the rest of the day, I might go on a hot girl walk, I might meet up with my lover, go do something fun, and yeah, that is the kickoff to the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I've been so good and consistent. Look at me go. Look at Katie go. She's back posting every week on YouTube. I hope you guys are proud of me. And also wait, one note that I completely forgot to mention in last vlog, I got a new camera lens. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, I can actually see a lot more in Katie's videos, like in frame, it's because I copied Brooke and I got a wider lens. So now you can see even more at once in frame, which is important to me because that means I can prop it on more places and you can see more in the frame so it's like easier for me to just like vlog anywhere and i'll show you guys my outfit this is my go-to for just running errands i guess like more so this is the go-to my dagny dover little crossbody pouch i wear this like every time i go anywhere and it's this camel color oh it actually has a stain on it how do i get that out so it really does go with everything this is my outfit it's actually a onesie and I don't know what the brand is. <laughs> what is it? Does it even say? Oddly enough, my onesie, or this like one piece outfit does not have a tag. So I don't know where it's from. I've had it forever, <laughs> I don't really know. But they have very similar ones on Free People. I will link some if I can find them. But the pouch is the MVP of the outfit. It has a little spot for cards. There's another little pouch here. I can stick my phone for a hot second, or I can zip it up in here. Love, love, love this from Dagny Dover. And then obviously sneakers, these are from Sorel. And I'm doing half a pack down because I'm still trying to grow up my hair and it just barely fits in a low pony with all the hair in it. High pony, still not possible, but we are getting there. <laughs> so we have the half a pack down. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're running errands, getting this card, things for Colby, tampons, let's go. tables have arrived. I ordered two matching bedside tables, which I've never had. And I feel like this is a mark of adulthood, having matching bedside tables, two of them. I feel like every other 
apartment, dorm room, every place I've lived apart from, actually no, even in my parents' house, I don't think I had two, I think I had one. So now I have two and I'm excited to unbox them. They're actually matching to my dresser. I have the dresser version of these and it's all gonna look so cohesive upstairs. I've actually done really nothing to my bedroom. Really haven't put much work into it. Really focused on down here first and now I'm slowly working my way upstairs. So I ordered these bedside tables. Yeah, I actually don't know what this is. Oh, it might be flowers. Oh, that is actually a curtain rod because I got curtains for this gigantic window down here. But otherwise for the bedroom, I got two matching lamps for the bedside table. So those are coming any day now. And also this week, fingers crossed, they come this week. They're supposed to. Is it a they or is it an it? It's a headboard and baseboard situation that goes over top of my pre-existing box spring. I'm excited to show you guys what these look like out of the box. That's what we're gonna do. I think I might have to screw the legs on, so we'll see. Okay, so I've unboxed both of the bedside tables and a few thoughts. So first of all, I have to put the legs on. The legs came separate and I have to just screw them on to the bottom, so I'm gonna do that before I show you guys like the final look. But one call out already, it's not like a huge, huge, huge deal breaker of a deal, but they are slightly different in color. If you notice, like the top of this one's a bit more golden than this one, but I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cool that they're not exactly identical. I'm more so happy with how the fronts look identical and really just like solid, like it's a solid piece of furniture. So yeah, no nicks, no cracks or anything. So I'm gonna put on the legs and I'll show you guys what they look like after that. Okay, and here is what they look like all assembled with their legs on. Very cute. I love these big openings in each of them because that means I have so much space. Like I've had an issue with books just being everywhere, which is fine, like I don't mind that, but it's nice to have a spot for them. So I'm gonna put them in these little spots, like just stack my books, make them look cute, maybe put like a basket in there with like, I don't know, like bedtime things. Not sure exactly, but we will get there. Also, of course, they have these nice little drawers. Yeah, super cute. And like I said, they match my dresser. So it's like a nice big set. We love a matching set. And I think I might even swap out these little handles. I mean, they're fine. Nothing's wrong with them. But maybe I can swap them out for something a little cuter. Down the road, we will see. So now I have to bring them up the stairs. That is the next task. <laughs> All right guys, new day, new delivery. I have something new downstairs. I'm very excited to unbox for the bedroom, which clearly you can see is a major work in progress. Yeah, good bones, very echoey clearly because I don't have much up here other than my bed. Now two side tables, this dresser that I've had for a couple of years now, and just like clothes everywhere, clothes everywhere. Um, I'm actually scheduling some Poshmark stuff tomorrow, so I have a pile of clothes that I'm going to list and things like that, so that's kind of why that's all over there, but regardless, it is all over there. It is just a clothing heap up here, and I want it to be an escape, you know, something like cozy and, and fun and cute. So that is why I've ordered some things and they're all finally coming in. So I had my first night's sleep last night with the two nightstands, bedside tables, and not much has changed for me. I feel like it's more so, you know, if I have a guest. And now, headboard. So I just got it in today. It came, it's in the box. And it's one of those things where, I don't know if you guys have heard of like Casper mattresses. I actually am sitting on one right now, but the Casper mattress comes folded up in a smaller box and you open it and it expands. And I think that that is the situation with 
this headboard that I got because the box is a little small. I'm like, I was expecting something like gargantuan huge and it's not. So I'm hoping that all the pieces came, like all the parts are there and nothing's missing. So we will assess that. The little dog in my hallway is freaking out. Oh, that's a door. Yeah, walls are thin here. Anyway, so we're gonna unbox the bed frame and headboard and I think I'm gonna have to exercise my muscles and lift this mattress up. Things might not go to plan. <laughs> we will we will assess that. But let's go downstairs. I'm gonna show you guys what the box looks like that this thing came in. I guess first though, this is the before. Before I have my lamps, before I got the headboard, before I put anything on the wall. This is what it looks like. And I actually also got this little thing, uh, Wayfair I think, and I just put some jeans in here and like some tops, I don't even know. It actually matches the bedside tables pretty well. So we're gonna keep this, I'll keep it I guess. <laughs> the rug is just something I had like from the last apartment, I'm gonna get a different rug once I get more of a feel for the colors and stuff of, that I wanna go with. So. so in this box lies hopefully two pieces, my headboard and the thing that goes on the bottom. So hopefully, <laughs> It's all in here. And I can't decide if I want to unbox it down here, upstairs. I have shoes everywhere. I need to like tidy up before I do any of this stuff. I came in last night from a dinner and just like threw everything down, like plop, and it's like messy in here. It's messy, you know? It's not like the worst, but it's, it's definitely cluttered. Like my sticky bra is just sitting right there. Maybe we do like a little spot clean and then we unbox all of this stuff. Okay, let's do that. I was a bit worried this might happen. So because I bought my bed frame, like the bottom part where the mattress goes on top, like the pre-existing one that I have, so this is what it looks like. It already has this like fabric piece on it. So it's not the right size for the soft frame like add-on. So, I mean, it doesn't look terrible like if I just don't use the soft frame, but I want to use the soft frame. So I think what I'm going to have to do, balancing you on top of my mattress. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is just order a new bed frame, like just a normal metal one with like no frills and get rid of this one. There's a lot of moving parts involved with that. Like what am I gonna do with my pre-existing, like this perfectly good bed frame, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Another option is I could order a king-sized soft frame to go on top of this. Like, this one's just not big enough. I was not anticipating this. I actually measured the bed frame, too, and I thought, based on my measurements, it would fit, but I'm not trying to force it to fit because I don't want it to rip it. We will see what I do to fix it, but I know the headboard part fits, and that's like the most important thing to me right now, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna continue doing what I can to assemble it, and obviously putting my bed back together because I need my bed, but that's kind of an, a little bit of a bummer. Just a little bit of a bummer. Um, but yeah, let's see what I can do to remedy this situation.
so a little closer up look of the headboard. I love the fabric. You can't really tell, but it's this really luxe and like plush, comfortable, the perfect height for all my pillows. I'm obviously gonna put those on next and the comforter, but I love how it looks. And once I get the correct size for the bottom, it will jut out a little bit. But honestly, without, it looks okay right now. Like it's like not a big deal. Guys, huge things are happening. My lamps just got delivered. Just got a notification. The lamps are assembled. Whoa, that is West Village for you. My floor is very creaky. This board right here is so squeaky. <laughs> In the middle of the night, I always step on it and I'm like, whoop, okay. Anyway, so the lamps are here. They are from West Elm and they are perfect. Okay, I'm gonna turn one off so you guys can actually see it and aren't blinded okay so this is what the lamp looks like when it's not on just you know neutral classic so there were two sizes available on west elm with this style going on and i chose the smaller size like i opted for the smaller one of the two because i feel like a nightstand should be functional like you should be able to put things on it and not worry about knocking everything over or like knocking a water glass over into the lamp. Like there are hazards you gotta think of in that realm. So the smaller one takes up very, you know, little space. You can still have a nice like book and a water glass here and like all that stuff. And it still gives you plenty of light, especially with two of them. Anyway, so I got the smaller size. I liked the like ceramic base, obviously the What's this thing called? Lampshade. The lampshade was what really sold me on it because it's so cool, like accordion style, like very chic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad at describing lampshades, but very cute and gives you the perfect amount of light, especially with two of them. I just love how symmetrical everything is for once. Like I'm living a very symmetrical life right now, which is crazy. Um, yeah. I don't know which side I want to sleep on now that I have two nightstands. Like, I get to choose which side. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so obviously I don't have anything above my bed right now because I was kind of waiting to see which headboard I would land on and how much space I would have to work with. So now I know, and I'm still a little bit clueless about what I want to do. If you can, give me some ideas about what you think should go above the bed. There's a chance I've already showed you guys this, but if I have, just like forget, <laughs> forget that I've showed you. But I was considering putting this print that I got. I got this so long ago, actually before I even moved into this apartment, I got this print. This is what it looks like. I thought it'd be really funny, or maybe not funny at all, just like cute, to have this print of someone in bed like reading the newspaper or like hanging out in bed above my bed. So when I'm hanging out in bed, there's another person hanging out in bed and it just would be like this fun illusion of sorts. So I was considering putting this in the middle, like above the bed and in a cool frame. That is it right there. So that's how small it is. I feel like if it's just that in the middle, it looks out of place, like kind of silly. So I didn't realize it was gonna be so tiny. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it above my dresser or like somewhere else. I don't know. I do love it. I think it's so cute, but I might have to go back to the drawing board in terms of what to put above the bed. So if you guys have any ideas, please send them my way. The lamps are a hit. One half of my soft frame, <laughs> bed frame headboard situation is a hit. I love the headboard. It looks fabulous. Um, I'm getting blown up via email. Yeah, have been bad at checking my email today. I've been a little bit busy. I can just tell everyone like, guys, I'm out of office. I'm setting up my bedroom, don't mind me. But I'm like drowning in emails as we speak. So I need to do that. But thank you for following along on my bedroom redesign journey. We are not done. We clearly have a lot to do over here. So stay tuned for all that. Yeah, there is like a ton of stuff over here. So I have to deal with this and make it look intentional because I want this to be my oasis where I come 
when I'm stressed and like de-stressed, but I am still obsessed with the layout of my apartment, the way that it's just like this upstairs loft situation. And then obviously the downstairs, like it's a very open sort of floor plan, which I love. It feels like I can yell down to someone if I'm like getting ready up here or something. Like it's cool, I like it. I momentarily toyed with the idea of doing wallpaper. I'm, I'm still unsure about that. So I also set up our podcasting situation. We are about to record Match Made tonight. And if you're wondering what this is, these are Adam's underwear that, long story why I have them. Long story. If you guys listen to Gals on the Go, Danielle and Brooke's podcast, you might know the incident where the underwear came into play. Also, like my little baby hairs are just not staying in my bun. We're not there yet. We're so close, but we're not there yet. Anyway, so we are all set up for the podcast. Colby and Adam are coming over. We're gonna sit and record that. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I didn't show you guys this earlier, but I got in my curtains. I'm not gonna unbox the rod yet because I'm just like not ready for that yet, but I did get the actual curtains in and I'm kind of second guessing the color now. So don't look at my toes, they're so bad. Um, it's this like flax color. We will see. I'm gonna ask for Adam and Colby's opinion on the curtains when they come over. Oh, see, now you can kind of see. Yeah. I mean, they're linen. I love the material. If I don't love this color, I'm definitely going to purchase them in the lighter, like white color. I think I just was at the time thinking that white was too basic, but sometimes I'm like, eh. It's actually quite classic now that I think about it. So anyway, gonna hang these up eventually. Next project, I need to get my hands on a power drill and then I will do that. And I need to learn how to use a power drill. <laughs> Probably have to call my dad, but that is something we're gonna work on. Okay, we're gonna podcast. I don't really know what we're gonna talk about. We actually never know before we do. We just kind of start gabbing and see what happens. And we haven't recorded in two weeks. We didn't record last week because I had no voice. But this week, we're back. We post every Friday morning, as you guys might know. And this week's episode, I just have a feeling it's gonna be juicy. But we'll see if I decide to share some things that I wanna share, maybe. But I'm nervous, but I'm excited, but I'm also nervous, okay. If you were wondering, this is how I steam my clothes because I'm not sure why I do it this way. It's just been my method for <laughs> ever since I've been in this apartment. But I actually like with this little dress here, I put the straps on the handles of my cabinets and I plug my steamer in. I'm in my kitchen. That's like where I do it. This is the perfect method to steam your clothes. So this is how I do it. <laughs> I got this little steamer from Target because it was the only one they had. And honestly, it's elite. Like I let Danielle and Brooke used this when we were in the Hamptons and they were like, wait, what brand steamer is this? It's the best steamer I've ever used. And I'm like, interesting because I did no review exploration. Like I didn't even read a single review. I just bought this because I saw it at Target and in the city Target is tiny. So you have very limited options. And this is the only brand they had and it's Chi, which reminds me, gives me flashbacks to my straightener that I grew up with, like my Chi straightener. Everyone had a Chi straightener. Now I have a Chi steamer <laughs> so it's like a full circle moment you just put water in the bottom and then it's an excellent way for getting the wrinkles out of your clothes don't be fooled by my pajamas it is four o'clock in the afternoon on a friday and i am actually getting ready to go out as taylor swift says i'm going out tonight i am actually doing something really really cool or like a kind of a step for me in my dating journey, I guess, because I don't know if you guys have heard, is this how I wanna tell you? Like, I don't know how I envisioned it. Like, is it in my kitchen, in my pajamas, about to steam a dress? Like, is that the forum that I want, or the medium in which I wanna tell you guys this news? I don't know, I mean, it feels right with this like box of pizza in front of me. Like this, it just feels right. It feels right to share some very big information with you guys that you might know if you listen to my podcast, but I have a boyfriend. For the first time in my 27 years of life, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I do. And it's new, it's exciting. I 
I'm navigating this whole, you know, how much do I share? I'm doing things at my own pace. I'm doing things as they feel right. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not rushing anything. I'm really just happy. I'm very happy. And that's just, that's all I really need to say right now, I guess. Um, I'm happy. We're happy. And tonight I'm actually meeting all of my boyfriend's friends, the ones I haven't met yet. I've met a bunch of his friends, but not everybody. And this is like a big end of summer barbecue that I'm going to. And naturally I've been stressing all week about what to wear because it's like a big first impression moment. So I opted for a simple little black dress, flowy, like tight at the top. I'll show you guys it on and everything. Um, but I want to be comfortable yet classy yet cute. So opted for this like smocked cute little black dress from Revolve. It's actually Steve Madden brand. So yeah guys, that is the news and that is what I am working on right now. Just getting myself ready. I need to drink a tall glass of water. I need to get a little bit of coffee in me and then he's picking me up and we're going to Kipps Bay. It's a barbecue and I need to figure out what to bring because you can't show up empty handed to these things. So there's a few things I have to get done, but it's Friday and <laughs> I'm excited. It's gonna be a good weekend too. Um, have some fun things planned. So anyway, I need to plug in my steamer. It's extremely loud, so I'm not going to film the audio of this experience process, but you guys will see my method, I guess. Is there like a method to steaming or just everyone just like steam, I don't know, the same way? Great question. Hey guys, I'm dressed. I just need to accessorize, but I want to show you guys my outfit. All right, show and tell, outfit time. Nothing too fancy, just a chill black dress. Love it. Still feeling really cute though. Like the skirt is really fun, how it like flounces out, but not too much. Like everything's just perfect about this dress. I just love it. And I think it was like 80 bucks, which is fabulous. I'm gonna have it linked down below somewhere. It's very casual, comfy flats from Sam Edelman. <laughs> I like forgot what these are from. I waved my hair. I'm gonna throw some earrings in, potentially a necklace. And then I'm going to the barbecue. I'm so excited. I just like have such a good feeling about this. I just feel like I'm gonna mesh with these people so well and I just, I'm excited. I like love to be a part of something like this. So I feel very lucky and happy and I'll let you guys know how it goes, but okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna pop the earrings in, but I have like 10 minutes, so I know I probably will forget to vlog the final look, but I'm just gonna go with gold and then a black purse and I'm talking a million miles a minute because I am pumped. Okay. <sighs> okay, here goes nothing. <laughs> 